welcome back to Midford Pottery. We are going to throw some agate ware mugs, or the start of agate ware mugs. Got a bag full of prepped stuff over there, which you'll have seen on Instagram and Facebook. We are going to try the new old wheel. So I've only had one go on it. I want to see what it's like once we get into the swing of things. So we'll move the camera. So we can see what's going on. Move it around a bit. I don't want to block yet. Where are we going? There. Yeah, see what that's like. So we got all our tools. We'll see if it works still. Still works. Let's go. Like I say, I've got uh, prepped agate ware, big mugs, various uh, oranges, yellows, blacks. So it's an experience getting used to this. So I've got four different wheels now. So that's uh, it's interesting on the different characteristics. Come on, keep going. That's it. Need the spanner on the pedal, it keeps uh, It's a bit loose, it keeps working its way. Right, so we'll corner. Center down. Break in the middle. About there. Open it out. We oh, can see the orange is coming through on this one then. About there. Compact the base. Slow away a bit. So we're going to do our first lift. Which first lift really is just to set the clear bit. You don't have to go too high. So now we start there. It's got a good inside anyway. Hope the outside comes like that. Go a little bit slower. So I'm pushing in, push out, grab that clear, get a bit of height. We've got a bit of a swirl going on. Just a bit slower. 
the lap. So I'll try and get, get rid of that swirl. I'm going to use a wooden rib. Just gently compress the clay against it. That's it. And what do I need? I haven't got my sponge on a stick. Where is my sponge on a stick? There it's So that's that one just about done. So we'll get the water at the bottom. So we'll trim it. again because it's still got a bit of a swirl in it. Some water on the inside. most of the swirl out of it. Most of it. Right. See how slow this thing will go. So we're going to scrape it with a, a metal, metal rib. Top nice dry or rib, just dry that top edge again. That. And that is it. So that's that. So what we got to do, we have to wire it off. Just get rid of some of that extra moisture. Right. I need the wire. my wire. I 
Now I like a swirly pattern on my base. So I'm do it. Twist cut off wire. Go on. Go on. Don't know what happened there. <laughs> Don't know what happened there. Right, it's that. That's our board over here. So I'm gonna that's that. Now what I am gonna do, because I do like a thumb rest so all that nice actually that's too wet so what I will do so where we've cut it off we we'll sort of get a bit of marbling going on so I've found if you scrape that as long as you don't get As long as it doesn't go too black, and we can split that in half. And then we wrap them up so they don't dry out, and then they can go on as our thumb rests on our cups. So what I do need is a little pot. Clean pot would help. It's got a lump of clay in it. That's it. That's it. That'll do us. Let's clean this out. So I'll do a collection of them as we make them. Now at the minute they look quite dark because it's got black in it, it tends to take over. So I'm thinking when you squash them and then just scrape the surface back a, a little bit with a metal rib and that'll do it. Right, hope you've enjoyed that on the on the old wheel. It takes a little bit getting used to but it, it does work. It's very slow and steady. So remember, clears the way, and I'll see you in another video very soon. Bye for now. <laughs>